Yeah, I'm going to get back to Gabrielle here. You and I had some correspondence recently, and and someone was a patient, a client of yours, was having problems with eye pressure. And I've had one of the members talk to me about this as well. Um, they'll go to the, they're having some vision problems. They go to the doctor, the doctors and put some kind of mechanical device there. They assess eye pressure. And if it gets too high, they go, whoa, 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 whoa. We, we got a real problem here. Okay. And you've dealt with that some. So why don't, why don't you talk about the case or cases you've dealt with and and give us some insight into that. Yes, it's an interesting case to look at. Um, what I really like to do, the way I, I enjoy working, is to see the, the body as a metaphor. So if your eyes are involved, I want to know, you know, what did you see that really shocked you? Or, or what did you not see that you really wanted to see? And, and these metaphors you can use for any part of the body, ears, hearing, not hearing stuff, around the mouth, saying things, not saying things, etc. So I really enjoy work, working like that because these are just, you know, if you use them as pin, uh, um, pointers to the underlying causes. So long story short, um, I've had two different clients with high um, eyeball pressure. And I know the, the, the doctors get nervous around that. And um, so one was in hospital, uh, went to the hospital and, and got her eyes checked. The pressure was so high. This was on a Wednesday that they wanted her to come back on Friday because they wanted to immediately do a procedure and get these, you know, maybe in a drip and get the pressure down because it was dangerously high. And so I spoke to her on Thursday. So she went to the hospital, got completely shocked about what they what they uh, told her about the eyes and, you know, big problem. And uh, we need to bring this pressure down pronto, et cetera. We had one hour. So I immediately worked on and asked her, have you seen? Wait, wait, wait you had a one hour, one hour session. A one hour session indeed. Yeah, so yeah, I had okay, only yeah. one hour and I, and so we, we we decided let's see if we can do something about this. So for one hour I worked on uh th in actually actual fact three very traumatic situations where she literally saw something that was very traumatic. I will not say what it is because I don't want anybody to recognize themselves. But for her, seeing what she was seeing was really shocking. So we did three specific situations that happened uh, fairly recently. And then, you know, the hour was done. So she went to the hospital on Friday and the whole, you know, clinic came and looked and she had to sit be behind three different machines. And so the the, the doctor and the you know, the, the chef of the whole a bunch decided that most probably their machines weren't working properly because they couldn't, there was no uh, high eyeball pressure, nothing. Yes. So, um, and that's well, what- they... Well, let, let me, let me interject. <laughs> I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I, I have to make a little point myself, if I may. What you did, if I understand it right, was something that, I don't think is taught in medical school. And that is you were looking for what's the real cause of this. Now, doctors tend to know stress of some kind is the real cause, but they don't know what to do about it often. Um, so what you, what you did with these specific events, I am thinking is you found and you aimed at the true cause that I have emotional issues I don't want to see well. I mean, your your body's a metaphor, and it starts to it starts to reflect your emotional stuff inside, and that's what you did. It took care of everything, and and as a result, since it doesn't fit with the doctor's training, um, the machines must not have must have malfunctioned. Did I say it right? 
Yes. Yeah, so it, it was clearly, I mean, and I always work uh, on the root, the emotional root causes of things. So same thing here. I honestly, I did not expect her, her uh, high eyeball pressure to drop so dramatically to normal because it was like really high. Um, but still, uh, we worked on an hour. She, you know, three things completely neutralized them. And then I've heard this more more than once that the doctors then decide in, in hindsight that either their machines did not work or the lab made a mistake or, you know, uh, a colleague didn't, uh, you know, uh, come to the right conclusions and made the right uh, diagnosis instead of saying, well, we don't know what happened, but something clearly changed because now you don't have a high uh, eyeball pressure anymore. So the second client I had, she did not go to a hospital. She was with a private um, uh, ophthalmologist um, very high um, eyeball pressure. And so the eye doctor said, you have to use these drops and you will have to use them the rest of your life because otherwise, you know, big problems, you can go blind, stuff like that. That's what they say then. She came to me and was really upset because she really didn't want to take any uh, eye drops. Um, so after like two weeks, she went back to the eye doctor and said, I'm going to do EFT. And I want to visit you regularly so that you can measure my eye pressure. And I want to stop with this medication if we can. And and this this private doctor agreed. She said, she said, well, it can't be done, but if that's what you want, as long as you come to me regularly and I can measure your um your eye pressure, I'm okay with you trying something. That's fine. And so we worked again eyes visual problems and what i mean by that is that the, the visual shocks of things are very important if you are your eyes play up so we worked on several situations where her partner um walked out on her literally walked out on her so she remembered the last time she saw her partner walk out on her and and other stuff like that so it had to do with this is a, a romantic partner you're saying the the um the one who walked out was on the visual stuff yeah and so um i think uh, in about six to eight weeks she so she regularly went back to the eye doctor the eye pressure completely normalized then she stopped with the the eye eye drops and was under control for another, I think, three months because the eye do doctor uh, didn't believe that the eye uh, eye uh, high eye uh, ball pressure wouldn't come back, but it never did because we worked on several issues. I think at least, at least ten to fifteen different situations, all in the same area, all very, you know, oriented, traumatic stuff. She never had had to take drops. Again, I doctor still doesn't believe that working on emotional issues can resolve it. But here we are. She doesn't need any drops and the eyeball pressure stayed normal after that.